The right wings of Venezuela and the United States have taken a series of actions Estamos con ustedes. to checkmate the Venezuelan government and the Bolivarian Revolution. Ante Dios. Juro asumir formalmente las competencias del Ejecutivo Nacional como el presidente encargado de Venezuela. In the first months of 2019, these efforts intensified, opening more dangerous and bloody scenarios. You can observe the key elements of these latest struggles in this Chronicle of a Failed Intervention. Phase 1, the Parallel Government. The strategy behind the latest round of aggressions in Venezuela is the establishment of a parallel government that could challenge and replace the constitutional one. Nuestras acciones también se alinearán a preparar una justicia transicional y de esta manera estar preparados para los cambios que están por venir en nuestro país. A series of actions were taken to promote the idea that the only legitimate parts of the government were those controlled by the opposition. Que esta es la primera sentencia. Hay muchos delitos cometidos por Maduro que vamos a seguir investigando y accionando ante los distintos organismos. And to use a combination of unelected officials and the opposition-controlled National Assembly to overthrow the rest of the constitutionally elected government. Esta Asamblea Nacional como único poder legítimo electo por los venezolanos asuma la representación del pueblo. Phase two, international recognition. As Representative Juan Guaidó self-proclaimed himself president, he was accompanied by a media frenzy aimed at politically and symbolically delegitimizing the government of President Maduro while constructing an image of legitimacy around the largely unknown Guaidó. Y quiero expresar que Colombia reconoce a Juan Guaidó como presidente de Venezuela. Mostly through the recognition of Guaidó by the United States and its allies in Europe and Latin America. La Asamblea Nacional, liderada por Juan Guaidó, sigue desafiando al régimen de Maduro. Hoy designó una junta directiva para la estatal petrolera PDVSA. Para proteger cada elemento, cada activo. No hay manera de atender la profunda crisis y resolverla desde el fondo si no salimos de la dictadura usurpadora. Phase 3. Territorial incursions. As time passed, the adventures of Guaidó and his friends were deflated by the reality that he didn't actually control anything. The United Nations and other multilateral organizations wouldn't go along with their game. El hecho de que los Estados Unidos y varios otros países en primer lugar de esa región reconocieran al instante al nuevo autoproclamado presidente habla de su participación directa en la creación orquestada de una autoridad dual. China siempre ha seguido el principio de no interferir en los asuntos internos de otros países y se opone a cualquier intervención externa en los asuntos de Venezuela and many countries and international organizations ratified their recognition of President Maduro as the only legitimate president. Venezuela's state institutions defended the constitutional continuity. De reafirmación de lealtad, reconocimiento como comandante en jefe y juramento por la Fuerza Armada Nacional Bolivariana al ciudadano Nicolás Maduro Moros, presidente constitucional de la República Bolivariana de Venezuela. And so they were left no other choice than to go beyond their virtual comfort zone of social media and press conferences. Va a ser en todas las ciudades del país donde habrá concentraciones ese 23 de febrero para esperar el ingreso de la ayuda humanitaria. Esta vez es distinto y tú lo sabes. Es distinto porque la Fuerza Armada Nacional se están revelando. Porque puede que sea la Última carta que nos juguemos. Estamos contigo. To launch a physical action in Venezuelan territory. To forcibly violate the borders. Phase four, foreign military intervention. Yet another frustration piled up when the strategies to penetrate the border didn't work. Pero es indetenible ya en este punto. Contemplamos todas las opciones que nos lleven al cese de la usurpación, al gobierno de transición y elecciones libres con el menor costo social posible, haremos lo necesario. Despite the deaths and the damage inflicted during the violent and illegal attempt to storm through the borders, they failed to advance in Venezuelan territory, and in their desperation, called openly for what seems to be their last option, an open military intervention by their foreign backers. Haremos lo necesario. Phase 5. Blackout. As the political tension dissipated in the last days of February, the apparent calm of March was shattered by a whole new type of foreign aggression. On March 7th, a series of cyber attacks on the control system of the National Electric Grid left the entire country without electricity. The problem had been an attack on the system of scale. That is, the system that is in charge of controlling the electric system, they were put in. 
y se le metieron tiene que ser vía internet eso para que ocurra eso no es negligencia es simplemente eh, como digo es es posible es factible por supuesto nuestra teoría dice que es posible que haya sido con una complicidad interna porque si ese sistema estaba totalmente cerrado es decir no físicamente conectado al medio exterior entonces alguien puede desde adentro ayudar a hacer eso For five continuous days and nights, hospitals scrambled to treat patients using emergency generators. Cities couldn't pump drinking water. Gas stations couldn't pump gasoline. Food couldn't be refrigerated. Money couldn't be accessed. And internet, landline, and cell phone service were completely knocked out. Sin energía, pues, no hay operación de nada. Todo eso tiene una cantidad de costes, de pérdidas, descomunales. No hay producción, no sé. No se vende nada, no, no hay interactividad. But as with the economic sanctions, this twisted attempt by the United States to instigate protests by subjecting Venezuelans to ever more difficult living conditions failed to produce the desired insurrection. Phase 6. What will the next phase be? As this interventionist escalation continues, the Bolivarian government will have to keep zigzagging around the adventures of the international right and the leadership of the Venezuelan opposition. But it will also have to decide which of two opposing paths to take, to wrap itself up in political arrogance without accepting or correcting the many errors that have helped lead to the current social and economic crisis, or to take advantage of this tactical victory to rebuild the image of the Bolivarian revolution in the world, rectifying, disentangling the webs of public and private corruption in our country, protecting the working class with truly revolutionary measures and not just populist handouts, refining the path to justice and truth and deepening the Bolivarian process without ambiguity or deviations. Nos están brindando la oportunidad para radicalizar y profundizar la revolución, acabar con la corrupción. Escuche el clamor de un pueblo que está dispuesto a luchar con usted y no a permitir la intervención de ningún país extranjero a Venezuela. Although the right is deflated and discredited for now, they will soon regroup and continue to attack at the weakest link of the revolution, the one they still haven't been able to break.